and a new high-tech way the military may soon be able to detect dirty bombs on the open sea. The pictures, the stories, your world. This is News 8 at 5. Guard patrols these waters every day. I'm Craig McKee. Coming up on Newsday, we're going to take an exclusive look at some new technology that could be put in these waters to help them out. The military is considering using a new kind of maritime security in its war on terror. These so-called smart buoys or floating bomb detectors could alert the military about dirty bombs that may be hidden in boats or in the water. News 8's Craig McKee is live along the San Diego Bay with a closer look. Craig? Hey, good evening, Marcella and Carlo. You know, back in 2000, when the USS Cole was harbored in Yemen at a port there and was attacked, it wasn't a warship that attacked them. Instead, an inflatable boat full of explosives. Well, today we got an exclusive look at some new technology that, that could be deployed right here to prevent attacks like that from happening in the San Diego Bay. The U.S. Coast Guard patrols our bays and coastal waters looking for everything from improper registration to human and drug smugglers. That's one of the big problems out here. When we get a call, you know, we're, we're going in blind. I'll come over there. Well, more often than not, boardings like this go off without a hitch. It's really the other boats on the water that aren't searched that could be the real danger. Patrolling the waters on a daily basis is one thing approaching boats and checking them out firsthand, but having knowledge before they arrive at that boat could be critical to their mission. Early detection is 100% vital. This is the Strait of San Juan de Fuca here. You're looking at the technology that may soon give Coast Guard here the upper hand. It started with a, um, with a concept to tie ships at sea together with Wi-Fi. But soon grew into a Homeland Security buoy capable of detecting biological and chemical components in passing boats, and more importantly, radioactive material from a dirty bomb. The radar uh, locks onto the target, it tracks it, we get images from both the shore camera and the, the buoy camera. Dr. William Roof is the senior scientist for IntelliCheck Mobilisa, and he says while the buoy tracks the suspect boat, Coast Guard, Harbor Police, and other Homeland Security Departments can be notified and have access to the live feed. Well, that data could go to, let's say, the Joint Harbor Operations Command, and they may be interested in, um, in data on specific vessels at specific times of day because they've identified trends uh, for smuggling and narcotics and humans. Well, nothing could replace the eyes of the Coast Guard. The deployment of this buoy in San Diego Bay would make it and the crews that guard it safer. If we had that information, you know, preemptively, then that's that's half the battle. Now, IntelliCheck Mobilisa has actually launched this buoy specifically in Potomac River near Washington, D.C. They've done radiation tests with that, they say, very successfully. And uh, they actually had a meeting about three weeks ago with Coast Guard officials here in San Diego. They said that meeting went well, and there are future meetings planned to discuss this buoy for San Diego. Guys? Craig, really neat. I'm sure a lot of people are wondering who exactly is funding this program. And uh, when do you think we could actually see these types of buoys deployed here in San Diego? Well, right now, this uh, buoy system is in what's called a research and development status. It's being funded by the Department of Navy. Eventually, he says, Dr. Roof says that this would switch over to Homeland Security funding. As for a deployment here in San Diego Bay, he says if he gets the green light, he could have one of these units deployed here within six months. Marcella? Keeping our water safe. Thanks so much, Craig. Thanks, Craig.